important. I took a break, had some things I had to get sorted. I might retire in my prime like I'm M. Jordan. Table dancing in Southampton. Use the glasses for banners. Be cooling out in the web, but I done there. Every girl on my list. KD at the three, Jokovic with the racket. Phelps in the pool, I'm like speed at the Masters. Girl, you know you a bad Girl, you know I'm a savage. They gon' let me in this club in these dirty vans. Clean money, I count stacks with these dirty hands. Do a show, cut the rack with my new advance. 50 bands, 80 bands, 100 bands. I'm the American dream. We the American dream. No money, no class, look at them. We are at the home of the Super Bowl 52 champions, Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Just a short time ago, these Philly fans in full roar as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. Pyro takes a blaze. They're set to go as their Eagles will match up with the Chicago Bears. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. They go play action here on first down. Oh, he's going to take a shot. Trying to get it to Robinson, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Mills. And a big return will get him all the way down to the 35. Well, they wasted no time taking a shot down the field. He was letting it fly in the very first play from scrimmage. And this was excellent coverage down there. And they'll come away with an early takeaway. And I mean an early takeaway. So after the INT, here's Reds. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 33. And his crew will take over with a football at the 35-yard line. Oh, well, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chance there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. For the Chicago Bears, Charles, it's kind of the dust settles on this season. How do you think that they will remember it? Because right now, the fresh wound is there with the missed field goal. We get that. But it's a pretty good season they just had. It certainly has been. Remember, they were last in the NFC North in 2018. They won the division in 2018, their first NFC North title since 2010. They acquired Khalil Mack to begin the year. And remember, they had a heartbreaking loss at Green Bay on a Sunday night to open the season. A lot of teams would have gone south after that. Instead, they went 7-1 at home, won 9 of 10 to close the year. They're going to be heard from in seasons to come. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Now it's Trubisky. And boy, that one drops incomplete, but if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. Rodney McLeod that time able to knock it away. When I watched that play, I thought about what my coaches had told me in the past. The biggest teaching point, get your head around. Locate the football so you can make a play on it while it's in the air. That's exactly what he did there. That was nice. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. Looks like the offense is going to take another shot here. They're going on fourth and 13. They'll try and throw for it with Trubisky. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Mike Bennett, he's the one that got to him. He takes him down for a loss of nine. Winston, the Eagles now with a first and ten, just shy of midfield at the 49. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And he's going to go down. They sack him back at the 42. I know there'll be a little bit of criticism there because they went right back to the air after the huge pickup and end up getting sacked. That's often a play that you make. You feel like you've got momentum on your side. Unfortunately, the, oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. So when you have good field position to start a drive and you give up back-to-back -back sacks, that can be demoralizing for a team. On third and long, it's wins. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. 
And third down is a key down. Any game you play in third down defense, something we've got to watch in this one. Got to be effective on the passing downs. That's a pretty good first step right there. And how about this? Fourth and long, and they're going to go for it. They do go for it. It's Wentz. Going deep here. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Prince of Ukamara. And they will take over at the 29-yard line. On fourth down, that turned out like a punt. Maybe he was better defensively there just to knock it down. And you know they go over those situations. All right, fourth down. Where's the ball? Where would we get the ball? But instinct takes over, and when it's in the air, they just go and get it. So it's hard to get on him for intercepting it, but the smart play would have been what you suggested. Knock it down and take over in a deeper position. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Trubisky will throw. Trying to lob it in there, but it's incomplete. Trey Burton, the one he was looking for. And it's third and short. So he's th seven throwing the football right now. Not an awful start, but also not the sharpest of starts. No, I would agree with that. But if you're a confident quarterback and to play that position, you have to be. You just act like there's something wrong with the wind currents or something wrong with the ball. <laughs> it is not you. Keep throwing. That timing usually develops. The decision to tuck and run gets him three, but that's not enough. Now it's fourth. So in their own territory, but they only need a few inches. So they're going to opt to go for this thing. We'll see. Maybe a surprise pass or run. What will they do? We're about to find out. Fourth down. He can run for it, and he will. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. A big roll of the dice on fourth and one, but it pays off. They convert. Looking to throw Trubisky on first down. Buying time to his left. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. Throwing here, Trubisky. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Anytime a defense can sit back in a zone like that, it tends to create a lot of congestion in the middle of the field. Makes it very hard to slot one in. Looked like I-4 at rush hour in your hometown of Orlando, Florida. An absolute mess. He'll leave it for Cohen, complete. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. And that goes as a gain of 37 on third down. So what's the old expression that quarterbacks like to use when they decide to throw the football? I'm looking for either a touchdown or a check down. And he took the check down on that play, and it went most to perfection. And just a couple yards there down to the 17. On second down, Trubisky. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Picked up by the linebacker, Jordan Hicks. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Brandon, this is why golfers are best to never count a score in their head before the ball goes in the cup. This looked like a slam dunk for points on this drive, didn't it? Instead, they throw an interception, and they're going to come away empty. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. I don't think any of us were surprised that they decided to start this drive on the ground after the last two drives ended in interception. Fortunately, though, not a lot going on on that first play. Yeah, I think the anticipation was felt also by the now, defense. Right, come on now, let's go. On second down, here's Wentz. Interception made by Alshon Jeffrey. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 20. An eagle first down, Wentz hooking up with Jeffrey. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have played. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off by Danny Trevathan. And he'll actually lose about seven yards on the return, but they have possession of the football on the turnover. So from the 30 south. At 
after the interception, here's Trubisky. He's going to dump that off to his running back, Cohen. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. A gain of 32 that time. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. A great play there from four yards out. And the Bears are in for six. He's got it to make it 7-0 in favor of the Bears. Here's Parkey now set to kick it away. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. The Eagles in good position to start out as they come up first and ten. Wentz. Jeffrey reels it in over the middle. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Nice way to start the drive. A gain of 12 and a first down. This is a giant. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid game. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. Throwing now is Wins. Caught right side is Jeffrey. And he's taken down inside the 30. Two minutes to go here in the first half. We'll come back to Philadelphia after this. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Here's a giant. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Perfectly designed blitz right there. They took that one from the grease board to the field because they were able to free up their linebacker to get into the backfield and spill the play. Now Wentz throwing on second down. Throwing the slant pattern here complete. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. The Eagles into the red zone for the first time. They come up first and 10 at the 16. Into the red zone, wins. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Alshon Jeffrey, a 16-yard town. And the Eagles are within an extra point of tying this thing up. Those are the touchdowns that aren't just scored on Sundays or on Monday night. Those are the ones that are scored during the week because they had that preparation in a great route run. Oh, I love that observation because you don't just roll out on game day and say, okay, go run this route and let's get it done. That means exactly what you said. The practice had to occur beforehand, which led to the timing, which led to the touchdown. This is taken about seven yards deep. And this return nets positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. The Bears offense now heading back out onto the field, and they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. Think of what it's like now on the sideline, because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. This defense has been very disruptive early on as they force another one to go awry. Seems to be the front and the back end. Pass rush, they've been able to get home, and they're taking the ball away in coverage as well. I love how you put it together. The front and back working in sync, only way to play good defense. They call that a loss of six yards. And it's third down now. The Bears on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and 16. Out of the gun, Trubisky throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. A good pick up there, 26 yards. We can talk all we want about football being a game.
strength in Braun. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there, getting it to the back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker. Touchdown, Chicago! A big play there with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Bears are in for six. Park of the extra point, and that makes the score 14 to 7. Here's Parky now set to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26 yard line. Here comes Eagle offense now as they get set to take over here. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And just 25 seconds to go in the half now as they've got it first and 10. Wentz now on first down. And incomplete as he was knocked as he threw it. And it took the ball off course. Well, one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown them a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after them. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. And that one almost intercepted. Far too loose with the football here. Nearly a fourth pick. And it's third down. It's been my observation. There's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit, but only the second quarter, a lot of time to change things. The three straight incompletions, they don't care. That hasn't dissuaded them. They're going to go for it on fourth. They're going to try and throw. Akeem Hicks in there to bring him down for a loss of seven. They'll run it now out of the gun. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. This will be a 37-yard attempt. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. Here's Parkey now set to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five as he's taken down right at the 20. Out come the Eagles now as he'll go on offense first here in the third quarter. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never wanted to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But and this is a do real, I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. Let's we'll see if that script is a good one for him. And he will be brought down at about the 43 that time. It was the linebacker, Leonard Floyd, on the stop. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. To throw his wins. Rush coming, and he's taken down. So one quick, easy analysis about why they've struggled so far. They keep putting themselves in third and long situations. They just took another sack right there. And the offensive film session tomorrow may be a little longer than it normally is. <laughs> Not a lot of positive grades will be handed out thus far. Now a third down throw, but it missed the target incomplete. Well, we're into the second half now, and this is an offense that continues to struggle to sustain a drive. Looks like they're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing the ball like we saw there. I don't know. The rhythm seems off. Now Wentz. And it is incomplete. A surprising move to go for it, and predictably, at least somewhat predictably, as in... 
So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now a play fake here on first down. And that is intercepted. Or was it? Wait, they'll say no. No interception. He did not keep the feet in bounds, apparently. So that's just going to be an incompletion. So line of scrimmage, still the 39 on second and 10. Second and 10 now. It's Trubisky. Trying to drop one in, but it's incomplete. The turnover put him in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third down coming up. No, not at all. And you know what else you do? You make your defense mad. Yeah. They got you the football, gave you a great opportunity. You got to cash in and get some points. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. So many times you hear today's NFL dived as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. Sliding out of the pocket. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. The completion good for three, and it's second down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Now Trubisky. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Coverage was very good that time. A nice job to smother him as the ball arrived, and that ensured an incomplete pass. And it keeps six points off the board. And this is going to be incomplete. Well, sometimes you just have to take things into your own hands, don't you? I mean, the offense is really struggling in this game. They're the ones keeping things going. They have to continue to play at that level. And Parkey's kick is good. And that will open the lead up now to 20 to 7. So put another three aboard. All things considered, a good opening drive to begin the third quarter. And as a defense, the way that this game is going, you're excited to see those points go on the board. Gives them a little bit of leeway to play with when they're out on the field. But they're real excited as offense score. Now they get to go out there and do their part. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. And on that last drive, went for it on fourth, turned it over. A good job by their defense, though. They held them to three, but this offense, they've got to be a little bit better, a little bit more careful here. And sometimes when you see these calls on fourth down, when they decide to go for it, it's not the pressure, and he's taken down. A bear sack. Akeem Hicks in there to get him. His second sack now of the afternoon. Now following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Now Wentz. Jeffrey complete and way up past the 35 before he's taken down. A good pick up there, a 22. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give quarterback a really nice target. Wentz now. Five straight completions here in this second half. First and ten. Now it's a Johnny. He'll get three up to midfield. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. It's the Eagles behind on the scoreboard, but with the football here as we start the fourth quarter. From midfield, here's Wentz. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 11 yards there as they connect on the clamp. Alshon Jeffrey so dangerous even when a defender's near him. He's got such a big body. Ability to run, positions himself well, excellent control. And you're exactly right. He and his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off around the 37. 